Hi Box Buddies, this is Jeannie with Batman's Boxes. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to show you another DIY and um, this is a DIY with the Dollar Tree unfinished wooden furniture that you can find. I don't have um, an unfinished chair to show you, but uh, those are particularly hard to find. But these um, these wooden pieces are pretty well made. Um, I find that they do take paint very well. And um, I wanted to show you what I decided to do with the set that I have. So I do have um, a couple of leftover dolls. Actually, I have two sets of dolls, but um, from my Wizard of Oz box last year that I did and let me show you what I decided to do and I may include uh, maybe one doll or two dolls and you know a piece of furniture um, as a filler item I'm not really sure what I'm going to do I don't have enough for a complete box so let me show you what I've turned um, some of my furniture into so um, I think the first piece I'll show you is the Dorothy piece that I created I took the bed and I didn't paint the wood, but I added some ribbon, like the ribbon in Dorothy's hair, and I just made a pillow. And I also um, put the blue and white gingham pattern instead of the red, I covered it. And then I gave her some ruby red slippers on the bottom of the bed. So that's the first piece. And I have a little basket that Toto can go in. And then I have the Dorothy doll. And these are Madame Alexander dolls that um, McDonald's gave out oh, years ago. So um, I decided to just kind of make a small set. The next item is the Wicked Witch and I made this out of the table. Uh, I did put a little witch hat on there and I gave her a broomstick leg. And I will go ahead and send this doll only because I don't think it's scary. Um, you know, uh, that's just my opinion about it. I, I don't think it's very scary. So I will go ahead and send that doll in. I want you to see the broom. The next piece that I covered is the small dresser and this is the Glinda piece and I gave her a hat and just some glitter um, and a heart uh, that came off of, I believe it was a sticker set and I just hot glued that on there and then I will include the Madame Alexander Glinda doll. The next piece I'll show you, if I can get this one to sit up, is uh, the flying monkey. So this is the pattern, I, I have this chair, and this is the pattern on the flying monkey, um, their outfit, and then I will include this doll. I didn't put wings on the back of the chair, um, only because I thought it would make it a little bit too bulky, especially if, if I add these as filler. Um, but I just left it as is. And one of my absolute favorite pieces uh, is the table that I made to mimic the scarecrow. And that's the diploma that he receives from the Wizard of Oz. I gave him some straw on the side and some jute string down here. And then I just added a little bit of green and orange and the doll really matches perfectly. So I was pretty happy about that one. Let's see, I don't, I don't know if this one stands. Yes, he does. And the other one that I really, I really enjoyed making this one is the tall dresser. And I made this to look like the Tin Man. Uh, this was actually a little coffee grinder that goes in a dollhouse miniature, um, but I took off the handle to make it look like the Tin Man's hat. And then I will, whoops, I will pair it with 
the Tin Man doll. He might stand up, I'm not sure. And the other uh, item I have, this is another dresser, but because I didn't want two dressers, um, the dresser actually goes this way. Um, but what I did was take off the uh, knobs and I used some scrap piece of wood with a little metal piece here and using some air dried clay, I made the doorknobs and the metal and I did put a ribbon that goes in his hair but actually the dresser goes this way but I needed a crown and if you look on the bottom it actually looks like a crown so I just decided to turn it over and paint it green because his crown was green in the movie. Okay I lowered down my camera so you can see the figures a little bit better but this is the lion and this is the figurine that will go with that um, armoire. And I really did not uh, find this to be too difficult to create. Um, I actually really enjoyed making this. I do have one more set of dolls. Let's see where we can put him. I don't know if he stands. I think he does. Um, I do have one more set of dolls that um, I'm not sure what I'll do with yet. But like I said in the beginning, I think I can either send uh, one or two dolls and then two pieces of furniture. I, I really haven't decided uh, what to do yet. And of course, no Wizard of Oz theme would be complete without an Emerald City. So I did take a Dollar Tree house and I glittered it all up. Um, and this was also a sticker. So I put that on the front and in the back, I did glitter it and I put a yellow brick road and then um, just a round piece and I put Oz on there. And if you can find the furniture, <laughs> I think uh, it's a really easy way to do filler and to add um, some fun to a box. Doesn't necessarily have to be um, the entire cast, but um, this was really kind of a fun project. So I did enjoy doing this. I hope you got some ideas. Thanks so much for joining me. Real quick video today, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.